Alright, boys, we've got this pinpointer here made by Mind Lab, a Pro Fine 40. <clears throat> Let you see the outside of the box here. 10% increased depth over the Pro Fine 35. Five levels of adjustability, rapid read tone, lost alarm, ferrous tone ID. And I guess it's that DIF technology has to do with it affecting other detectors. Alright, got a LED flashlight on it. Comes with a lanyard and holster. 9 volt battery ops waterproof. Down to 10 feet. Okay. So we'll play with this thing here just a little bit. I done put the battery in it. Pretty simple. Got an O-ring on that butt cap there. You see the power button there. It does have the LED flashlight. I'll turn it on. See the light lights up. Okay. <clears throat> plus and minus. It's really simple laid out. Okay. So if I keep holding this plus key, it adjusts the sensitivity up. Okay. When you hear that sound there, it's at max sensitivity. And I'm going to hit the minus key and let you hear it. Stepping down. When I hear that long tone, I'm at the bottom. So we're at lowest sensitivity. That's where we'll leave it. Okay. This thing has ferrous ID, tone ID on it. But we're going to turn it off. Hold the minus key down. Okay. Now this nail on this dime should sound identical. Hear that? Okay. Now, it's going to be hard for you to see this in this camera. Now, remember, the sensitivity is its lowest level. So I've got to get pretty close to that dime. And I'm going to turn this thing on its side. Now one nice thing about this pinpointer, it's got good detection up the sides, okay? And I'm going to turn the sensitivity up and you'll see this better. So let's listen to the dime again. Hear that? And listen to the nail. So they sound identical. Now I'm going to match the plus key and hold it down and listen for the beep. Alright. And I'm also, now I'm going to step up in the sensitivity by repetitively pushing the plus key. Let me make sure I ain't got this camera. Okay, now we're at max sensitivity. Alright, now the nail. Hear that nail, how it sounds? I'm going to put this down on this nail, listen. Hear that pulsating sound and on the dime, listen. It's steady, okay? It's not broken. A pulsating sound, okay? Now, it's got a retune on it here. All you got to do is hit that power button, but don't hold it in. Just touch it. You hear two little beeps. And if we turn the pinpointer off by holding the button, you get three beeps, okay? Turn it back on, Okay. It does save its settings from what I can tell, okay? So we're still at max sensitivity. Ferris tone ID is on. We'll go over the dime down from the top like so. Okay. And we'll go down on the nail to retone it. This camera is probably interfering a little bit with it. We're going down on the nail. Here it pulsating. Now we're going to turn this pointer sideways here over this US clad dime. Max sensitivity. See that? Okay, and then over the nail. Long ways. Then I'll come over here. Alright. Now it does have a lost pinpointer feature on it, but I think I'm telling you right here you have to, this pinpointer you would have to leave on. Okay, and then after so many minutes of inactivity, and I may actually turn this camera off and leave this corner on. Watch my watch. Turn the camera back on. We'll see what it's making. But now that's the catch with it, I believe. you got to leave, you know, if you leave it on. So one nice thing about this pointer is if you, uh, if you lay it down off, you're in trouble. You know, you, you could lose it. So if you make a point of not turning this thing off right here, you know, until you pick it up, you'd be in pretty good shape.
Now, how long is it going to beep for? I guess it, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. It might beep till the battery goes dead. <laughs> All right. Let's turn the Ferris ID off by holding the minus key. All right. Let's check it here. It is a dime. Now we're coming down on the side of the barrel. The side of the barrel on the nail. You notice they sound identical. Ferris ID back on. Alright. Steady tone. Get that old goofy sounding tone when that ferris ferris is on there. That is retune button. That's handy there. I like how this button layout is too. There's no real really no protrusions. It's not like some detectors where you've got that big rubber button to push. Alright. Not very heavy. I've, I've seen heavier ones. Made by another company a few years back. I know it was heavier. It's not overly bulky. It is smaller up here than most pinpointers, though. Okay? Some of your competitors are bigger right up in here. Alright, I'm going to set this thing down here. I'm going to turn this camera off. And uh, my watch says 115 more or less. I'm going to turn this camera off. We'll see what this thing does here. It's on, okay? I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, it looks like in about three minutes, with no activity with a pinpointer left on, I'm going to let you listen to it. This is what you would hear in the wild if you lost it with it on, okay? And you left it laying on the ground. So it's not a continuous beep, okay? I don't see anything in the book, so I was assume it would do that right there until the battery was depleted, okay? And that'd probably take a while since it's since it's not a continuous beep. Now let's get around here and look at something here. Okay, the light stays on it. Okay, I've done got close enough to it now, see. I've interrupted it. So now the cycle has to start over. But I didn't see anything going on with that light. Let me turn the camera off and let it expire again. I'll get farther away from it. Okay, she's went back into the lost, where it's been lost and been inactive for three minutes. Looks like the light does not flash, okay? You see it there? We'll give her a little, let it cycle a couple of times. So don't expect to see a flashing light. If you lose this thing, you're going to be hearing that beep right there. Now, you might see the light, but it won't be flashing, okay? Okay. Let me zoom this camera back in. Now, this DIF technology, let you see this on this box here if I can get this thing to focus. This is, this technology here reduces interference when it's switched off. Certain pinpointers, you know, they even interfere with metal detectors in the off position, okay? So this one here is supposed to not allow for that or do a better job. So there you have it, another product from the fine folks in my lab, the Pro Fine 40 Pinpointer. Hope you enjoyed.